Hey folks, so in this video I'm going to install an i3 13100F into the MSI Pro B760M-A Wi-Fi DDR4 motherboard. This will be the first CPU I put in this as I have uh, not done any installs with it yet. So now you can see right there, triangle, all right, on our CPU there's usually a little marking in the bottom left corner. Let me try and line that up with that spot. All right. I'm going to rotate this so you guys can get a better view. Hopefully my fingers don't get in the way. Pull this back and gently place this down. You don't want to drop it. You want to make sure it's lined up. Now, if it's all, all is good, it should feel the same all the way around the gray frame, right? Now when we drop this down, the cover should pop off automatically. If it doesn't, you'll pull here to get it off. Now sometimes the CPU will actually move, which it looks like it might have done that. Now instead of uh, pressing this thing down, yeah, you can see that has actually moved. All right, so if I were to press this down and put that down and press this, I would probably screw up my um, sockets in my computer. All right, so we want to reset that, reseat it. And this is, you know, sometimes this happens and people are like, wow, why does my computer work? Well, because unfortunately you just wrecked it. All right, so it's good now. Now we're going to pull this lever down, and I usually put my finger right there, uh, and boom. All right, so we're good. Now this is a DDR4 motherboard. Hopefully I'll remember to install a stick of RAM at some point. We'll do that. So we're going to put in the uh, Noctua NHU12S. Backing plate that goes underneath this. And if you're really good, you can get it in there easily like that, right? That's what it looks like on that side. And voila. Next, four spacers. And the next step is we have to make a decision. So threaded post here, all right? Let's just put one of these in here and bring in our CPU cooler. We want it oriented just like this, all right? Fan's going to be on that one side, sucking in cool air and blowing it out, uh, blowing out the warm air. Uh, well, that air basically will help to cool the tower and it will warm up and will exhaust warmer air out the uh, back of the case, all right? But this is the orientation we want this to be, all right? So let me grab the other one. And then we need our four nuts, all right? Those will be in your box. From here, we're going to want a number two screwdriver. And, you know, you should take your time. I am uh, obviously using both hands. You know, if you haven't spent a lot of time with your computer, maybe use, you know, finger, a couple fingers around to help guide this and ensure that you don't drop your uh, Phillips head onto the delicate areas of the motherboard. So we have that in folks. Now we're going to put some uh, thermal paste in, alright, and I'm going to go with this thermal right stuff. I don't even know if there's enough in here, but Hopefully there is. We just have to make it through this installation, BIOS overview, 
BIOS update and we'll be good. Um, so Noctua in their literature says, you know, put about four to five millimeter diameter. That was LGA 1151-1200. This CPU is a little bigger. Got more surface area to cover. All right, so once we've done that, folks, we can drop this down. And you want to get, let's see how close we can get, folks. You want to try and get a couple threads on. All right, so we did that with one side. And we'll rotate this way. And hopefully we're lined up. Good chance we're not, though. Now, this CPU cooler is starting to um, have some issues. After, you know, 50 to, to 60, 70, who knows how many installs I've done. Uh, this thing is actually... Maybe the threads are bad. Who knows, but... Alright, so both of these appear to be nice and tight. And that's in there good. Now... Sometimes with Noctua coolers, you can't put your RAM in after the fact. Um, in this case, though, if I had a second stick, uh, maybe I would put it in A2B2 right now. But just firing this thing up, you only want to honestly go with one stick of RAM. The more RAM you put in, the more chance that maybe you have a problem, right? You might have... Let's say I wanted to put four RAM sticks in. I might have one RAM stick that's bad. Well, this isn't going to fire up. Um, we may have one bad RAM slot. Um, never had that happen on a new motherboard, but uh, renewed and refurbed and used off of eBay. Uh, we have had that problem. One. So the place that makes contact, this side is shorter than that. All right, so... It can go in only one way, and on this RAM, the label is out, all right? And then we're just going to press that down, and boom, snap. All right, so we got that, and we'll probably see that we didn't have to worry about our CPU cooler, our fan from our CPU cooler hitting the uh, RAM, but better safe than sorry. All right, now our CPU fan, and I think I have a second one of these somewhere. Uh, I could put two fans on here. We might, you know, keep the CPU one or two degrees cooler. That's about it. Might not be worth the money. Um, so the brackets, you see how the brackets are in there? That's how you want yours in, all right? So let me just pop this up a little bit just so you can see it this is the intake side that's the exhaust side that has the frame on it all right so drop this in to the holes hopefully and boom all right now we want uh, to hook this on to our tower and so we're just going to pull both sides back just like that, all right? And hopefully that thing will engage in there. Actually, it looks like we're having a problem. There we go. Now we're in good. And do the same to the other side, all right, folks? Now, four-pin connector here. And it looks like we only have this spot for a... The CPU cooler so you want to make sure that uh, you put this in the right way it goes in only one way and now if you don't get make contact with uh, goal is to make contact with all four pins uh, if you happen to only get two or three you might find <laughs> that um, you're not going to get any pow power to your CPU fan and guess what your CPU is going to overheat. All right, so be careful there 
All right. Go ahead and put our graphics card in. Now we're just trying to get this to boot to BIOS, so we're not going to put an M.2. Graphics card already has the HDMI cable plugged in. All right. This is PCIe 3.0 by 16 going into a PCIe 4.0 by 16 slot. All right. Snaps in like that. Now, before we hook up our power supply to test this thing, we want this in this position, which is off, or you could unplug it from the wall, all right? So, 24-pin power connector. Plug that in. Come around to this side. Now, just to fire this up, we only need to do uh, the 1 by 8 here, all right? This is the CP power connector. And we'll go ahead and hook up our mouse and keyboard. Now I've done quite a few videos in this spot. Seems to work out pretty good. Let's see. I got that backwards. There we go. Alright. So, folks, that thing's ready to go. Turn this on. And then, oh, gosh, we forgot one thing. So, if you had a flathead, you could uh, get these powered on. But we're going to use this little power switch. And this should be our front panel connectors. Third and fourth pins over here. Hit that button. I see the fan on, I see a light, and let's go ahead and hope we have something on our screen here in a second. So far, nothing. There we go. CPU or memory changed. Well, guess what? We've never fired this up before. So we want to hit F1. And hopefully in a second we'll end up in the BIOS. And voila, there we are, MSI's BIOS. So, I just got this brand new off of Amazon. And you can see the BIOS came out September 30th, 2022. Yeah, that was a long time ago. So this is probably a uh, original BIOS. This motherboard is now over six months old. And I just got it brand new. Um, but so first thing, folks, that you would want to do, you know, is get that XMP going on this thing. And oddly, it already appears that it might be going. Let's go over to advanced mode, settings, OC, and extreme memory profile XMP already on. So that's weird, folks. Usually, when you get a a new motherboard you have to enable that that tells me that uh, the fact I've never done an installation with this motherboard that this has been returned most likely um, and they resold it as new so but hey it's it's as good as new anyways but this is the spot you would go to uh, disable this if you wanted to right but hey thanks for checking out the video I'll do a uh, BIOS overview as well as a BIOS update video. And uh, that's about it. A couple more videos. We already did the unboxing. Check that out if you want to see it. Did a macro view of the motherboard. Now we did this uh, installation. Maybe we'll do a second installation video with a different CPU cooler.